Mom, Dad, uh, we messed up. What'd you do? Well, you know those credit cards you got us a few weeks ago? Well, we kind of accidentally spent $21 trillion. Trillion? That's 12 zeros! Um, how did you do that? We didn't mean to. Yeah, we just started spending. And we bought every NFL team. And Apple. How many apples does it take to get to 20 trillion? No, Dad, the company. Oh yeah, I only bought two billion iPhones. And five and a half million houses. And then we bought 58.8 million army privates to protect us. And then we paid Mr. Kelly 18 million years worth of salary. <laughs> and we funded Congress's salary for the nearly 10,742 years. And then we signed a 50,000 year contract with LeBron James. And then after all that, we got hungry. So we got 1.3 trillion chocolate bars and 200 million eight count nuggets from Chick-fil-A. And 200... 51 million grande caramel frappuccinos from Starbucks. And then we gave $9,000 to every family in the US. And 4,000 celebrity couples got divorced and we paid their fees. We also personally financed the rest of the Star Wars movies. And bought a Greek island. And 20 private jets to fly. We also started developing 999 spaceships. And we prepaid for like 500 trips to Mars. And we went to Dollar General and bought three trillion things. Yeah, but I think that's about it. Oh no, there are so many consequences, not only for y'all, but for us too. We're going to have to lower our savings. And if a problem arises, like one of us getting sick, then we won't be able to pay for it. And higher interest rates. It's going to take us 2,000 million years to pay this off. What are we gonna do? You three are in big trouble. You guys are gonna be paying us back for a long time. Honey, can I talk to you for a minute? I don't think that making them pay us back is the best idea. I think we should just take all their stuff away. That won't do much though, will it? I think we should just make all of them get jobs and then pay us back. Eventually that'll eliminate our deficit and problem solved. All that money taking is so complicated. We shouldn't be regulating our kids that much anyway. Let's just stop buying so much to save money. In fact, if we stop taking our kids to the doctor, I think we'd be out of debt in no time. <laughs> that idea is actively damaging our family. If we follow my plan, a debt-free family is within reach. That would free our kids to invest and innovate after they're ungrounded. It would provide even more sturdy foundation to future economic growth, which means college savings, it creates good jobs for our grandkids. After we're back on track, then we put strict spending limits back in place, and this will never happen again. My plan obviously makes more sense, and it saves us so much money, like 80% more than your plan does. I think that we can solve the problem by asking ourselves three questions before we spend any more money. Okay, enough arguing. Let's just go get some dinner. You want to spend more money. That's just your problem. I think that before we do any more spending, we ask ourselves first, is it within the constitutional scope of this family? Secondly, is it effective and absolutely necessary? And lastly, is it sufficiently important to justify borrowing to fund it? Things that meet those rules will be kept as part of our family budget while those that don't like dinner will be cut. Let's just think. Wait, do you know the Spigners? Is that that bald guy with three kids? Yeah. Well, they're in a debt because they spent so much on healthcare, social security, defending their family, transportation, education, and more. Yeah, that's a lot to deal with. I know that they're trying some things to try and solve their problems. What are they doing? Well, they try to finance their debt by selling bonds to their local neighbors. Anyone can buy a bond directly from them or from banks or brokers. When someone buys a bond, they effectively loan money to the Spigners in exchange for repayment with interest at a later date. I guess that could work. What else have they done? They did make a limit on how much debt they can carry at any given time. Like a ceiling? Yes, and once the ceiling is reached, the Spigners cannot issue any more bills, bonds, or notes, and they must rely on incoming revenue to pay for their expenses. So, what happens if they don't create the ceiling? It could be bad. They wouldn't be able to make their monthly payments, it could slow down their economic growth as a family, and they would be unable to pay their debt. What are we gonna do? Well, the United States debt is a little over 21 trillion, and I've heard of some things on the news of what they've been doing lately. Yeah, but how is that gonna help us? We will basically be like Congress and help shape the budget policy because we control the money. 
Wait, I know what you're talking about. The U.S. has proposed the solution of cutting military spending because we don't need and can't afford the military sites that we already have. So, we cut the spending on some of the massive spending we have been doing and take back some of the unnecessary things we brought. Yeah, and America is proposing to change the tax policy to a system that is more fair for all Americans. So what are you saying? If we all work together as a family and pay off our debt by equally splitting the money up, we can eventually pay off our debt. Wait, and isn't the U.S. spending a lot of money on entitlement programs like Social Security? Yes, and the worst part about that is the life expectancy in America is increasing. So the U.S. is running out of money to pay for Social Security, but they are proposing to increase the eligibility so that it can still be funded by the future. So, how are we supposed to fix our problem like the U.S. is trying to fix theirs with entitlement programs? Well, we can lower our eligibility requirements for our trips so that we don't have to spend as much money. So, like, on one of our trips to Mars, the youngest of us can't go. And on our private jet trip, we can only let mom and dad go, so it'll be less expensive. Why are we so smart?